Hi, my name's Alex Cowan, and I'd like to tell you about my Agile specialization on Coursera. I teach at UVA Darden. My background is that I've been an entrepreneur and an intrapreneur, meaning I started a new venture inside an existing company. Now, three of those ventures were successful, which appallingly is actually a reasonably good track record for creating new ventures. And as I looked at what was working for myself, my teams, other similar teams, I formulated this venture design process. And it's just a systematic way to apply some of today's best practices. And speaking of systematic, I found that for organizing the work of teams, Agile consistently delivers much better results than the alternatives, and I'm an enthusiastic practitioner. I'm also super excited about this tension I'm gonna tell you about here. The cost to launch a tech startup, the cost to create a new product, it's been plummeting, okay? But the amount of software that's really valuable to the user that's commercially successful, it really hasn't improved a whole lot. So there's a real tension there that I think we can fix with Agile. That's what you learn about in the specialization. How do we get you to this happy place where you're building awesome products, rolling out great systems inside your company? Is it having really terrific ideas? Well, when we get a new idea, we're excited about it. We wanna tell everybody, we wanna render it into software so it can be magically successful. But the reality is, a lot of the time, that idea is not that good or it's not ready yet to be rendered into software and we crash and burn. Is it being really technical and code savvy? Well, um, that will help you certainly engage in the details, but your job isn't to tell your developers how to do their job. Your job, if you're the product person, is to do your job really well and create an environment where they can be successful. So by itself, this isn't the answer either. The answer is grinding it out. We go out, we talk to users in a very specific way, so we learn what is on their A-list, what's important to them. We test our propositions, our solutions, before we go build them so that we make sure we're not gonna build something no one wants. And we organize that in actionable ways for our development team, and that's how we get to our happy place. And we get there as a team. Let's talk about how to do this. Well, in the venture design process, we move in this particular sequence because as you go along, your options are gonna decrease, your costs are gonna go up. Now, that is just the nature of developing software systems, but you wanna make sure that you've maximized your opportunities to understand your user, to test your ideas, so you increase your odds of building something that's valuable. Now, in the specialization, we'll show you how to do that. In course one, you'll We'll show you how to humanize your customer or your user with personas and learn what's on their A-list by using problem scenarios so you don't build something nobody wants. And we'll show you how to bring that forward into better user stories and prototypes to drive better, more purposeful discussions and better, more purposeful action with your team. In course two, running design sprints, we'll show you how to use one week design sprints to go research those personas and problem scenarios Number two, to go out and test motivation. And in the third type of design sprint, we'll show you how to test usability. And in the fourth, we'll show you how to look at architectural alternatives and consider those so you make good decisions about how to build your product. In course three, we'll show you how to use a lot of these things you probably heard about in relation to Agile, like standups and methodologies like XP and Scrum and we'll show you how to evaluate those against the fundamental jobs of software development rather than just rattling through them so that you can decide which are most applicable or most likely to be applicable to your project, your team, your particular situation. And in course four, we'll show you how to create a culture of experimentation. Nothing will more reliably improve your practice of Agile than testing everything, whether that's an idea about how to be delivering something valuable to your user or making your practice of Agile better. Testing that will help you manage the uncertainty inherent in any software execution so that uncertainty doesn't manage you. I hope that you will consider joining me for the specialization. Thanks.